question asks is y a function of x given x times y plus 4y equals 1. So the way to do a problem like this would be to take this equation and solve it for y, make it look like y equals something, and then it's easier to tell if you do that. So if I were to factor out a y, notice that both have a y in it, I would get that, which means, now let's solve this. Let's get rid of the x plus 4. Let's get rid of the x plus 4. So y equals 1 over x plus 4. There's your equation. And that is a function. Because every time I, whatever I plug in for x, no, no matter what I plug in for x, I'm only going to get one value out for y. I'm not going to get two different values out for y. That's why it's a function. Let's look at another example. If it said y squared equals x minus 2, is y a function of x? Well, again, let's solve for y. So let's get rid of the squared by square rooting both sides. Now remember, whenever you square root both sides, that could have been either a positive or a negative square root. And so you can see when you plug in a value for x, let's say let's plug in 6 for x, the values that you get out for y could be a positive or a negative value. It's going to be plus or minus 2. So 6 comma positive 2 and 6 comma negative 2 are both points that make this equation true. Plug in 2 here or plug in negative 2 here. Either way, you're going to get a positive 4 out. And when you plug in the 6 here, you're going to get a positive 4 out. So that this is not a function. Not a function. One more example. If you have um, the absolute value of y equals x plus 1. This is a little bit harder because you can't just take, you can't really undo the y. Well, actually, you kind of can undo the y. Why? Remember the rule for when you have an absolute value? What do you do when you have absolute value of something? How do you solve it? How do you get rid of the absolute value? You write it two ways. You write either y equals x plus 1 or um, negative y equals x plus 1. Sorry, I did that wrong. Not negative y equals x plus 1. Negative y equals negative x plus 1. It's either y equals either the positive value of this or the negative value of whatever that is. And so for the same y, we have two different x values. Or I should say for the same x, we have two different y values. So now let's put let's plug an x value in here. If I plug yeah. 1 in for x, on this side, I'm going to get negative 2 for y. So 1 comma negative 2 is my point. And over here, if I plug 1 in for x, I get positive 2 out for y. So the same x value gives me two different y values. Meaning I could have either plugged in a negative 2 here or a positive 2. And either way, I'm going to get the answer of 2 out, which means that x would be 1. Now, the easiest way for me to see this solution is if you understand how to graph things. To me, graphing things makes the most sense. If you know that this thing can be graphed as a V, an absolute value symbol, an absolute value graph is a, is a V like this, typically. It's a V. But if the, absolute value, if the absolute value signs are around the Y, it's actually a sideways V, not an up and down V. And that, of course, doesn't pass the vertical line test. Same with this one. The, squ the squared function is a parabola, but if the y is being squared instead of an up and down parabola, it's a sideways parabola, right? Which means it doesn't pass the vertical line test. There's a point 
there's several points actually that have the same x value, let's say the x value is 2, and the y value here is, let's say, 4, and the y value here is, let's say, 0. For this one, now you haven't learned how to graph these yet, but this does, this actually does graph, and you're going to learn this later in the year, you're going to learn how to graph that, and that's a rational function, which looks like it's got a vertical line, and it goes maybe like that and like that, which is a function. So you're going to learn that later. You, you don't know that by looking at this problem. You, you can't really tell that it's a function. That's why you have to use the algebra here. But for these other ones, sometimes you can tell just by looking at it and understanding the graph. That's a sideways parabola. That's a sideways V, so those are not functions.